हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम स्निग्धा गुप्ता फ्रॉम गुरु ज्ञान ऑनलाइन क्लासेस वेलकम टू माई न्यू सेशन ऑन द टॉपिक द साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक पार्ट वन एवलीन क्लैनी लिसन टू साउंड विदाउट हियरिंग इट टू स्टार्ट विथ लेट एस बिगिन द सेशन विद अ मोटिवेशनल कोट बाई नेल्सन मंडेला आई लर्न दैट करेज वॉज नॉट द एबसेंस ऑफ फियर but the triumph over it the brave man is not he who doesn't feel afraid but he who conquers that fear the story evelyn glan listens to sound without hearing it is a biography a biography is an account of someone's life written by someone else it is written by debora cowley who is a freelance writer and broadcaster who grew up in Toronto and graduated from the University of Western Ontario and moved to Ottawa to work for the Unitarian Service Committee she has a lot of work in her kitty such as Cario a practical guide she was also the co-author of one woman's journey a portrait of Pauline Vanier The Sound of Music by Deborah Cowley is about a small girl Evelyn Glenny who doesn't have hearing aids but still she tried to feel music through her other senses she couldn't hear but still had the ability to feel it because she was very passionate to learn music she was 11 years old when she started feeling music and was a scottish so she belonged to scottish farms the title evelyn glan listens to sound without hearing it is itself interesting and confusing the question arises is how can we listen to sound without hearing it so students let's move forward to the chapter to learn how evelyn was able to listen to sound although she couldn't hear So students let us read the following account of a person who fought against a physical disability and master all the courage and made her life a success story Rush our crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform a slight girl looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibration of the approaching train It was her first day at the prestigious Royal Academy of Music in London and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a Scottish farm but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most she was profoundly deaf In this paragraph the author depicts the scene of a train platform The platform is underground and we can find a hue and cry of people out there. There is huge rush at the platform where people are pushing each other to get away. In this hue and cry we come forward with a small thin girl who is none other than the central character of our play Evelyn Glen. She is introduced in this paragraph as a slight girl. which means she is small and thin it doesn't seem that she is 17 years old we can find here that evelyn is standing at the railway platform and eagerly waiting for the train as we know that she feels the vibrations of the approaching train she realizes that the train is about to come then she gets nervous and excited the question is why she is nervous and why she is excited she is going to london to learn music as she got admission in the royal academy of music she is nervous because she belongs to scotland scotland as we know is a country in europe and whose life is not as fast as london London itself has a very fast life. The major comparison between London and Scotland is that London is urban whereas Scotland has farms and countryside. This is the reason that Evelyn is nervous because she is leaving Scotland for London. On the other hand, 
she is excited because she is doing something that she always dreamt of she is going to the royal academy of music to pursue her dreams here we come across the term daunting which the author uses which implies frightening and it is pretty sh- enough for any teenager to be frightened to go to the new world to pursue her dreams but for this young girl there was another bigger challenge that was awaiting and that challenge was she was profoundly deaf which implies she couldn't hear Evelyn Glennie's loss of hearing had been something gradual her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the 8 year old Evelyn was waiting to play the piano they called her name and she didn't move i suddenly realized she hadn't heard says isabel glenny for quite a while evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers but by the time she was 11 her marks had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist it was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired as a result of gradual nerve damage they were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to a school for deaf her mother isabel remembers noticing something was wrong with this girl when she was 8 years old evelyn was waiting to play her favorite instrument that is the piano then when the turn came when her name was announced but she didn't move isabel says that she suddenly realized she hadn't heard as it was already mentioned that evelyn lost her sense of hearing in phases which means that it was a gradual process in the beginning she could hear partially but this girl managed to hide this disability from her friends and teachers in the beginning she could hear partially but she tried to conceal conceal means to hide this disability from her friends and teachers but she couldn't conceal it for a longer time when she was 11 years old her marks started deteriorating so the headmistress urged means requested her parents to take evelyn to a specialist means to take evelyn to the doctor so when the doctor checked upon evelyn he found that evelyn had lost the sense of hearing as a result of gradual nerve damage so the doctor advised evelyn's parents that they should get hearing aids for her hearing aids is an equipment that is fitted into an ear and it helps a person to hear to some extent the doctor also further suggested that evelyn should be sent to the school for the deaf children everything suddenly looked black says evelyn so in this line it implies that when evelyn discovered that she couldn't hear and she couldn't live a life as normal children and would be sent to a school for deaf children her world became colorless it turned out to be black everything suddenly looked black it also implies that all of a sudden when someone gets such a bad news that one didn't expect and in turn you see nothing except blackness all around you this is how she responded to the news So let us now proceed to the third paragraph. But Evelyn was not going to give up. She was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music. One day she noticed a girl playing a xylophone and decided that she wanted to play it too. Most of the teachers discouraged her, but percussionist Ron Forbes spotted her potential. He began by tuning two large drums to different notes. Don't listen through your ears he could say try to sense it some other way says Evelyn suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the west up and the lower one from the west down forbes repeated the exercise and soon evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of the body i had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibrations the rest was sheer determination and hard work 
but Evelyn was not going to give up as we have already seen in the prior explanation that how the world turned black all around and how Evelyn responded to the news but here she we can figure out that she was a very strong and determined girl although Evelyn got such a shocking news still she was determined and she didn't want to give up what she dreamt of so as we know that Evelyn was very much passionate about music this news also didn't break her she was very much determined to live her life like normal people and follow her interest in music so one day when Evelyn saw a girl playing the xylophone she also wanted to play it now most of the teachers discouraged her because they knew the reality that Evelyn couldn't hear and it was nearly impossible to play music without hearing it but among the crowd there was a teacher known as Ron Forbes he saw that Evelyn was very passionate about music and so he decided something to fulfill her dreams Ron Forbes thought that he would teach Evelyn to feel music in a different way. So to fulfill his task, he took the help of two large drums and he tuned them to different notes. He tuned each drum to different notes so the sound produced by the drums was different. And so it was distinct. We can find that both the drums made different sounds when they were tuned to different positions. Then she told Evelyn that she should not try to listen it through her ears but she should try to sense it, try to feel music some other way. Now as Ron had tuned the drums to different notes, the upper of Evelyn's body above the waist, so what is waist? It is the middle part of your body, could feel the higher notes and whereas the lower part of the body could feel the lower notes then she told suddenly i realized i could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down so forbes repeated the exercise and this is how evelyn learns to listen to sound although she cannot hear she can sense different notes in different parts of her body as a result of repetition moreover ron forbes also taught evelyn to respond to different sounds through different parts of the body now once she could identify the sounds and variations the hurdle had been overcome and evelyn's career went upward as she had determination to become famous, a good musician, she, she also did a lot of hard work. As we can find that she never looked back from that point onwards. So here Evelyn gives a message to her readers that sheer determination and hard work are the key to success. She never looked back from that point onwards. She taught the United Kingdom with a youth orchestra. And by the time she was 16, she had decided to make music her life. She auditioned for the Royal Academy of Music and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the Academy. She gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances. At the end of her three-year course, she had captured most of the top awards. In this paragraph, it has been depicted that once Evelyn overcome her challenge and all the hurdles means difficulties that life has pitched on her means that life has given her now what happened she started sensing the different sounds through different parts of her body and this technique serve as a key how she progressed in her career so now Evelyn taught the United Kingdom with the youth orchestra. Now the question is what is youth? Youth means young people and orchestra means a group of musicians. So we can find that when Evelyn was 16 years old she taught the United Kingdom with a group of musicians. But 
By the time she completed her 16, she became confident to make music her life. In order to fulfill her dream, this little girl gave an audition to get admission to the Royal Academy of Music. Now, the most interesting fact was that the slight girl, what does the word slight means? Little. This little girl scored the highest marks in the history of the academy. As it has been said or stated that initially Evelyn performed orchestral work, which means that she performed in groups. But when she was confident enough, she started solo performance, meaning she started performing alone. She had achieved all the top awards by the time she had completed her three-year course at the Royal Academy of Music. And for all this, Evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievement. If you work hard and know where you are going, you will get there. And she got right to the top, the world's most sought after multi-percussionist with a mastery of some thousand instruments and hectic international schedule. In this paragraph, we can draw a very interesting characteristic of Evelyn. If we figure out that she is humble, realistic and down to earth. When people praise her for her stupendous performance, stupendous means very impressive performance, she points out that to be successful, two things play a vital role. The first one is hard work and the second one is to know what one actually wants in life. She further says, if you are hard working and if you have an aim, set a target which you have to achieve, then you will definitely achieve it. So we can say that having deep faith in her motto, Evelyn also achieved her goal as she worked hard and she had an aim to become the most famous and the most sought after musician of the world. So what does the word sought after mean? To be in popular or demand. And she did that. She became the world's most popular multi-percussionist. So multi-percussionist is a person who has the mastery of some thousand instruments. She has a very hectic international schedule where she has a number of programs and concerts in her kitty. It is intriguing to watch Evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing. In our two-hour discussion, she never missed a word. Men with bushy bear give me trouble, she laughed. It is not just watching the lips, it's the whole face, especially the eyes. She speaks flawlessly with a Scottish lip. My speech is clear because I could hear till I was 11, she says. But that doesn't explain how she managed to learn French and master basic Japanese. This paragraph opens with a line. It is intriguing to watch Evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing. So here, intriguing means fascinating or curious. So the author wants to express that when anyone watches Evelyn's performance, they become so curious because she can identify the slightest and the minute sound made by the musical instruments. Now, the writer Deborah Cowley narrates an incident where he had an interview with Evelyn for a period of two hours. And Deborah says that Evelyn never missed a word she spoke. Now Deborah quoted that Evelyn used to say, men with bushy beards give me trouble. So let's ponder why they give her trouble. The answer is she cannot see their lips movement when they speak as their lips are covered with their bushy beards. So next Evelyn says that apart from the lip movement, she sees the whole face which means the entire expression of the face the speaker makes in the process of conversation. Finally, she adds that the expression of the eyes helps Evelyn and make out what the person sitting in front of her is saying. 
Deborah used to say that she speaks flawlessly with a Scottish lilt. So here, flawlessly means without a fault or mistake, and lilt means a way of speaking. Here, the writer says that Evelyn's speech is flawless, means without a fault or mistake. Moreover, she also adds that she has a Scottish accent. To the explanation given for what by Deborah. Evelyn gives a simple answer that she can speak clearly because she had learned the language as she had studied till the age of 11, the time she could hear. So the interesting fact is that after becoming deaf, Evelyn has also learned two new languages. The first one is French and the second one is basic Japanese. So. Here again we have to wonder how she could learn two languages despite her deafness. As for music, she explains, it pours in through every part of my body. It tingles in the skin, my cheekbones and even in my hair. When she plays the xylophone, she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips. By leaning against the drums, she can feel the resonances flowing into her body. On a wooden platform, she removes her shoes so that the vibrations pass through her bare feet and up her legs. In this paragraph, Evelyn explains how she developed a bond with music and how does she identify it. She says that music creates sensation in her skin, in her cheekbones and even in her hair. So every part of Evelyn's body responds to music. Now she gives us example how she creates a bond with different musical instrument. The first musical instrument she speaks about is the xylophone. So what is xylophone? It's a musical instrument with a row of wooden bars of different lengths. She says that when she plays the xylophone, she uses sticks. And with the help of these sticks, she can sense the vibrations, the rhythms produced by the xylophone into her fingertips. The second musical instrument she speaks is the drum. She says when she plays the drum, she leans towards the drum and she can figure the echo flowing into her body. Thus, after that, Evelyn discloses that when she performs on a wooden platform, she removes her shoes. Why? So that she can feel the vibrations, the rhythm of the musical instruments pass through the floor into her feet, up her legs. So, these are the basic techniques how she can feel the sound of musical instruments without listening it. Not surprisingly, Evelyn delights her audiences. In 1991, she was presented with the Royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious Soloist of the Year Award, says master percussionist James Blade. God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. Here, Cowley says that Evelyn is delighted to hear. It means that she gives very good solo performances. Moreover, in the year 1991, she was presented with the prestigious award, which is Royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious soloist of the year for performing solo. Next, we are introduced to another famous percussionist. This is not Ron Forbes, but another multi-percussionist known as James Blade. His words were the ones that we read before reading the chapter. God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. Through these lines, James Blit meant that God took away Evelyn's hearing ability. But in return, he gifted her a very strong power of sensing sounds which we normal people do not possess and this has enabled her to become a great musician. Evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic. I have just got to work, often harder 
than classical musicians. But the rewards are enormous. Apart from the regular concerts, Evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals. She also gives high priority to classes for young musicians. And richly, of the Beethoven Fund for Deaf Children says, She is a shining inspiration for deaf children. They see that there is nowhere that they cannot go. So in this paragraph, Evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic, which means a person who finds difficult to stop working. Moreover, she also adds that in order to be at par with those people who can hear, Vince who are classical musicians, Evelyn works very hard. Evelyn also says that the rewards she gets for hard work are enormous. Enormous means something huge and big. Evelyn also says that apart from her regular work, she does charity. Charity in the sense she gives free performances in prisons and hospitals. Along with this, she also takes classes for young musicians, musicians or children who want to learn music but could not due to their circumstances. Thus, we can say that Evelyn is an idol, an inspiration for all. Next, we'll be introduced to a person whose name is Anne Richley. Anne Richley belongs to Beethoven Fund for Deaf Children. This lady quotes that Evelyn is a shining inspiration for deaf children. They see that there is nowhere they cannot go. Through this line, Anne Richley wants to convey that. Evelyn is an inspiration for those children who cannot hear. These children get to know Evelyn's story and they feel that they can accomplish all the impossible things and turn their dreams into reality. Evelyn Glenn has already accomplished more than most people twice her age. She has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. She has given inspiration to those who are handicapped, people who look to her and say, if she can do it, I can. And not the least, she has given enormous pleasure to millions. In this paragraph, the author says that Evelyn has already accomplished more than most people twice her age. It means, Evelyn has accomplished means to achieve so many things in life that those people who are double her age couldn't gain as much as popularity that she received. Next, Deborah quoted that she has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving. So, here we have to know that orchestra is a group of people who are playing different musical instruments. Whereas, percussion instruments such as the drum and the xylophone are placed at the back end or they are placed at the side. But, as Evelyn performs solo, we can see that she gives special performances. And with this percussion instruments, it is because of her the percussion instruments have come in front of the orchestra. Thus, we can come up to a wonderful and inspiring conclusion that Evelyn's story as narrated by Deborah Cowley is an inspiration to those people who are physically disabled. They feel that if Evelyn can achieve her dreams, even they can. Thus, she has won million of hearts by playing such good music. So dear students, Evelyn's bio sketch gives us a wonderful message that handicaps may be countered, problems may be overcome and aspirations can be realized if one is firmly resolute and confident. Those who do learn to overcome hardships certainly achieve the highest goals. There is always a way out of the challenges of life. Just 
one has to trace the way and adhere to it with unstaggering faith in one's abilities thank you students for watching hope you like my session